Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I believe that you have started exercising your authority as an ambassador, taking to God in prayer the things, those things that seem shameful, things of reproach in your life, things that the enemy reminds you and you feel less than who you are. You are an ambassador. It doesn't matter the crime of the ambassador before he became an ambassador, it to be set aside. They carry immunity and their sins are forgiven when they are still dressed. They have the privilege to speak on behalf of the kingdom they represent. So today we want to run through the week into the new month, that is today, tomorrow, and Saturday being the 1st of April. We want to run the three days the topic, don't be deceived. Let us pray. Father in heaven, we thank you because your word are there to us. Scriptures say your word have kept in my heart so that I will not sin against you. So your word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto our path. Today, Lord, as we run through this, please speak to us. Don't let us be deceived. In Jesus' name, amen. So friends, our test is from John chapter 10 and verse number 10. John 10 and verse 10. It says, Amplified Version. The thief comes only in order to steal and kill and destroy. I came that they may have life and have it in abundance to the full of till it over so that means that the expectation of god for anybody at any point in time is to overflow at the end that means you must be a blessing he wants to bless and make you a blessing he wants you to live your health in full you want you to enjoy life in full so anything lower than that it is the interference of the thief it is my prayer that may god expose and dispose the thief from every area of our lives in Jesus' name. And that's why I'd like you to take a prayer point and say, Father, in every way the thief have been operating or have accessed my life or my family and is operating in any evil way, Father, please today checkmate him. Get him out in the name of Jesus. Father, please take him out in the name of Jesus. Let me enjoy life. Let my family enjoy life in full. Let me experience, oh God, your purpose for my life and manifest thereof. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. So friends, the thief comes to do those two things. Now, I like to make in comparison two actions. One was deceived and one was not deceived. In 2 Kings chapter 5, verse 27, if you read from 20 to 27, the man Geazi was deceived and he lost greatness. He lost double portion of Elisha anointing because he was deceived by the things that eyes can see, by the things that the eyes can approve of as the best, that the things that he need, that he will, if he doesn't get it, it's going to be bad. And he lost it. But the same in 2 Kings chapter 6, you have sorry, 2 Samuel chapter 6, if you read from verse 10 to 12. 10 to 12 years, 11 to 12 particularly, you see the story of Gehazi. Somebody just died by the Ark of Covenant and they ask that the Ark be put in your house. Wow! But you understand that he, what kills another man does not necessarily mean that it is a poison. It just means that the man was not at the right place. And because he have understanding of what God can do, he allowed the Ark to come to his house. And within three months, everything changed. Friends, Galatians 6, 7, say, what a man so will reap. Don't be deceived. We'll see you.